Pressure of liquid depends upon three factors. Number one, depth of liquid or we can say height of the liquid. Number two, density of the liquid. And number three, acceleration due to gravity. It can be represented in the, in the form of equation also. Pressure of liquid is equal to depth of the liquid, density of the liquid and acceleration due to gravity. Look at this equation represents the dependency of pressure of liquid on different factors. Now I'm going to I'm going to focus on the first factor. Pressure of liquid is directly proportional to the depth of the liquid. Looking at this equation we can say that pressure of liquid is directly proportional to depth of the liquid. Meaning is very simple. If depth is more then pressure will be more. It means if we go to greater depth in the liquid, the liquid pressure increases. If we go to less depth of the liquid, liquid pressure decreases. Today, I want to focus on this. The dependency of pressure and depth. Pressure of liquid is directly proportional to the depth of the liquid. There are many questions related with this. I am going to answer some of the important reason questions related with pressure and depth of the liquid. Look at this. Dam is made wider at the bottom than the top. All of we know that dam is made to uh, stop the flow of water and to control the flow of water. That's why this is the simple representation of the dam. And this is ground level. And let's say this is water. And look at this, how I'm making this. This dam is made thicker at the bottom, but thinner at the top. The reason is very simple. The lower part of the dam lies at greater depth of water than that of the upper part. Since pressure of liquid is directly proportional to the depth of the liquid, so lower part of the dam has to resist high pressure but the upper part of the dam has to resist less pressure and to resist high pressure lower part of the dam is intentionally made wider than that of the upper part this is the answer called dam now let's talk about second question what the question a bucket fails faster from the tap of ground floor than any other floor now let's say to understand this uh, very clearly i want to make Let's say this is a house. I want to make a house. And we know that water tank is placed at the top of the house. And with the help of the pipeline, we connect the tap in each and every floor with the help of pipeline. Let's say this is a house just roughly represented and water pipe is connected to the tap of each of the floor. Actually, it's not necessary to make diagram to answer this question, but I want to make you very clear about the Position of water tap also that's why this is roughly represented a house having two floor and two taps are made over there And this is the tap of ground floor. This is the tap of first floor and maybe other floors also But this these two tap is enough to understand the question and enough to uh, uh, write the answer of this question What is the question the bucket feels faster from the tap of ground floor than any other floor? The tap of ground floor lies at greater depth, depth of water from the water tank. Look at this depth. Let's say S1. The tap of ground floor lies at the greater depth from the water tank. But the tap of the other floors lies at less depth. Let's say this is S2. S2 is at less depth. S1 is, S1 is the greater depth. So, Pressure of liquid is very high from the tap of ground floor because pressure is directly proportional to the depth of the liquid and 
the tap of ground floor lies at greater depth, so water comes with high pressure and a bucket feels faster from the tap of ground floor than any other floor. This way we can answer this question. Now this second question also I answered. Now let's talk about third question. A hole formed at the bottom of the sea is more dangerous than the hole formed at the side. Let's say this is a sea. And all of we know that a part of it is inside water and a part of it is outside the water. Let's say this much it is immersed. Now, <clears throat> accidentally, if a hole forms at the bottom, this way, accidentally if hole forms at the bottom, then what happens? This is this can be considered as the depth of water up to this hole. This is very dangerous, but the hole formed at the side, let's say here, accidentally if hole forms at the side up to this much depth, then this one is more dangerous than this. Why we are saying so? The answer can be written properly this way. If a hole is formed at the bottom of the sea, then it becomes more dangerous because hole at the bottom lies at greater depth of water than the hole formed at the side. Since pressure of liquid is directly proportional to the depth of the liquid, so water enters into the sea with very high pressure and this becomes very dangerous for the sea. It will sink soon. So it is more dangerous. Now let's talk about the fourth one. Sea divers must wear strong diving suit. Why a sea diver must wear a strong diving suit? Sea divers has to go to greater depth in the sea for different research program or different purpose. And all of we know that pressure of liquid is directly proportional to the depth of the liquid. So at greater depth, their body is pressurized a lot by water. And this pressure cannot be resisted by the body. And to resist very high pressure at the greater depth, they must wear special type of suit, which is called diving suit. And this, these are some examples related with what? Pressure is directly proportional to the depth of the liquid. There are many examples 